So we've now got our basic form and everything else ready and what we really now need to do is just to set things up so that we can um, make sure when we build everything goes in the correct directory and also as our header files are relative to include that it can find where these are going to go. So the dot profile is fed into QMake and QMake then builds our make files for us to get it to work. So we have to tell um, QMake via the dot profile where things are going to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is add include path sorry, it's all one word, path, and I'm going to say plus equals include. This will add that to the make file to tell it um, where to look for our .h files, which are in the non-standard system path. So in this case, it will we can include main window. It will look in include main window when we're searching. Other things I want to set up is where I'm going to put my executable and the name of the executable and also where to put the intermediate mock files and the object files. Now I've got a project um, that I've created before and you can see that we've got lots of different things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just to save typing, I'm going to paste those in. So objects dir tells the QMake and make file where to put um, obj files. So we're just going to say obj there and this is all relative to the project so mock files go into mock and target is the name of our executable so I'm going to say bin slash qt ngl that will be the name of our application that we're going to create now as I'm developing this on a Mac I need a further one because um, qt by default will bundle this into a um, executable that um, will be a, a Macintosh um, dot app directory with all the different contents, Mac OS S and things like that. And in fact, what I want is just a standalone um, console based application. So again, if I put in config plus equals console, it will generate it um, as a console based app and minus equal app bundle We'll, we'll get rid of the Macintosh um, Mac bundle. So I should now be able to build this, and you'll see at the bottom here, we're going through all of the different build steps, and it said it's worked correctly. If I now look in the directory here, we should see that we've got Qt, um, sorry, we've got bin, which is my Qt NGL application. You can see where I built it previously, this is the dot app, which I didn't want, so rm minus rf qt ngl dot app, we'll get rid of that. If I look in mock, you'll see there's the main window mock file. If I look in obj, you'll see there's the dot o files there. Um, so everything's right. We can now get rid of main dot o. The only other one that's still being created is this auto generated ui main window dot h, which is UI main window.h you can see is generated from reading the UI file main window. This is generated by UIC, which is the user interface compiler. Again, we can um, tell it to move that by adding the flag UI headers dir equals UI. So what that's going to do is to just put that .h file in there. If I just run the build again, we should see that. It is now in that directory so I can remove that and that's all gone so it's kept my project tidy all of the files are relative to the project and it's a good way of working to keep things clean we know where to build things where to clean things so the only thing we need to do now is to go into main and hook in all of our um, form elements so I'm going to hash include main window dot h so that's going to include main window dot h from here and what main window dot h has is it's created a class called main window again this is all auto generated code which inherits from q main window 
it brings in the queue object macro which is used by the metro object compiler to look for signals and slots which we'll look at later it's generated the main window constructor the main window destructor and this UI element here which is called just underscore U uh, sorry just called UI which is going to in our main window here called setup UI delete UI and it's incredibly simple so again if I go into main.cpp I'm going to paste in or no, not I'm going to grab some code that I prepared earlier um, just to save typing so we are going to create an instance of queue application which is the main um, QT subsystem we are then going to create a static instance of a main window class we create a static instance because the way that the QT mem memory management hierarchy works is that if we create this statically and then within main window we create everything else dynamically we effectively get free garbage collection because once the parent is destroyed which in this case when it falls out of scope here it will call the destructors on all the other windows so we don't have to worry about it too much and then finally we're going to show the main window there um, oh, the only thing that I forgot in main was that to pass in the command line arguments so int argc char star star arg V. We build that now. Oops. And I type things correctly. That should now run, only it's complaining that UI main window needed by that. That is because my UI directory is there and I need to add that to the include path because it's not finding it. Which if I use I put that in it should now find it and you see that we've got a very basic QT main window there and we can resize it and it's ready now for us to add components on and everything else so if we go into the UI I can quickly drag in a push button run and we should see that that push button is now added to the form ready to go. So our very basic, and I'm going to delete that because the next one will start looking at designing the UI.